God. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do it, man. I, I know what I have to do, but I don't want to do it. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so this game is silent still. We did play the demo about a month ago. Absolutely amazing. I thought we'd have to wait a while to play the full version. And then the other day I saw on YouTube, someone posted a video of the full version. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, it's already out. All right, so here we go. This is silent still. Wearing a headset is recommended for a fully immersive experience. Check. It has been a very tiring day at work. Is that it? Dude, one thing I noticed about the demo is that and I complained about this, and it looks like they haven't fixed it. Dude, look at this. This is me going the entire width of my mouse pad from one side to the other. This is as far as I can fucking move, dude. Why does it do this? Sensitivity. And this is all the further... I Hold on a second. What if I apply it like this? Go back in and then jack it the whole way up. That's, that's probably a little bit better, but I'm literally going the entire width of my mouse pad. And the thing is, like, dude, I don't have a fucking flashlight. Unless there's a light switch. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. There, there was a light switch. Get all the lights on. Dude, this place looks amazing. You know what this game could use, though? Some Death Chord 3. If you put Death Chord 3 in this game, you have a solid 10 out of 10. You know what? I said that expecting there to be a Death Chord 3. I thought Death Chord 3 was going to be on the shelf. That's why I said that. Is there seriously no Death Chord? Because this looks exactly like... <gasps> okay, okay, thank God. Wow. All right, dude, we're, we're good, man. We are in business. Death Chord 3 is, uh, it's nothing. It's just an asset. Quick background story to Death Chord 3, because I actually get asked a lot about this on YouTube. When I first started playing horror games, I always assumed that every indie horror game was built from the ground up, that like every dev just built everything, like designed all the assets. Everything was unique to, to every game. And then one day we played uh, like three horror games, like over the course of like a month. And I started noticing like Death Chord 3 on all the shelves. So then I was like, oh shit, they, they reuse the same assets. It's all plug and play. That was the first thing I ever noticed. And then it just became like a, a treasure hunt that every game we play, we look for Death Chord 3 because it was such a common thing that we started noticing in multiple games. Okay, I think I, I just turned my mouse up one more time. I think I have enough that I can move around a little bit better here. Okay. Oh shit. Dude, is this the demo? Because I'm having the same issues. Our demo crashed too. Yeah, it literally has the exact same bugs as the demo. You have to admire their consistency. Well, shit. I love how the refrigerator is in the living room though. But I guess the living room kind of doubles as the dining room. And that still doesn't make sense for the refrigerator to be out here. Like all this should be shifted down or like either slide the refrigerator in over here or put it down here at this end. I don't know. I guess get in where you fit in. I'm trying to remember what we had to do in the demo. I, I do remember we had to go to sleep. Oh, put your bag on the couch. Okay. Put our bag on the couch. Here we go. Wait, did we just come back from war? It looks like a like a military bag. All right, I need to pee badly. All right, so let's work our way over. Very, very slowly. There's no run. This is as fast as I can go. Okay. Wow, dude. Is this game fucking broken? I can't even open the door. Okay. Uh, minimum of 12 clicks to open the door. 12 click minimum will get you in. So hopefully uh, you don't have to go that bad. Hopefully you can hold it a little bit while you jimmy the handle. All right. Here we go. Fade to black. Cut scene. Dude, the dev should have like, if I was a dev, I would troll the player and just have that go on for like 10 minutes straight just to test someone's patience. Is the game bugged out? I'm, st I'm still pissing. Uh, it's better to always turn off the bathroom lights. This month's bill is ridiculously high. All right. Welcome to the club. We just got home. Who was eating? It's crazy that you can't back up. I've never played a horror game where you can't back up. I, I have to turn around to walk this way. Oh, let's go back the other way. Oh, well, let me turn around and walk this way. Okay, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten! Okay. Ten clicks that time. Getting better. Much improved. Place looks great, though. 
I will say that this game has a very, very good tone for horror games. Very good atmosphere. That's slightly ruined by the fact that I have to click my mouse 12 times to open up a door. Yeah, it's it's every door. Okay, at least the lights are a one click. Okay, space to change clothes. A little privacy, please. Uh, I should turn off the lights in this room so I can sleep easily. All right, I uh, got gotcha. you. Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. You know what? It's fine. I'll, I'll face the other wall. Well, hold on, hold on. Maybe they mean a different light. Maybe they mean the bedroom light. Okay, okay. Maybe he sleeps with the closet light on as like a, almost like a night light. Yeah, here we go. Ah, oh, shit. It's crazy because we played the demo. We know what's going to happen unless they move some stuff around and things don't happen in the same order as they did on the demo. But like to know what's coming, it's like a double-edged sword because uh, it's, it's scary as fuck. But at the same time, we've already experienced it. God, I'm so tired. I need to get a good night's sleep for work tomorrow. Yeah, I really hope a sleep paralysis demon doesn't show up. Uh, left mouse button to open and close eyes. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Da, 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 da. I don't know. Chapter one. The first experience. I can't move. Oh wait, I can't move or speak. What's happening? Hello? Huh? There's no voice coming out of my mouth. What should I do? Am I really awake? If your voice isn't coming out of your mouth, what hole is it coming out of? Oh my god. Oh my god. Am I supposed to... Oh shit. Yeah, okay, I remember now. Hey, come in. Okay, so the light turned off in the kitchen. Hello? Who's there? Hey, hold on a second. I thought you couldn't talk. You're a goddamn liar. Okay. Oh, light's back on. Okay, everything's normal, guys. The light went off. I got a little scared. Light turned back on. Everything's fine. Look, it's just the ghost looking out for my electric bill. I'm not scared. I'm grateful. Okay. Thank you. I missed those lights. <laughs> Quit playing with the goddamn lights. <laughs> uh, it, it, again, it's like... Uh, I, I love the fact that we played the demo because it was so good, but part of me wishes I didn't play the demo. Because I don't want to know. I'd rather go into this not knowing what's going to happen. That's why I don't replay a lot of horror games. Like when people are like, hey, can you can you replay that one game? It's just not the same. The good news is once we get through this first section, everything else is unknown. So we just have to get through the, uh, the demo portion. Come on. Part of me hopes they... Oh, shit. There we go. Who's that in the kitchen? I didn't even see her show up. Like, oh God, dude, it is the like, the atmosphere in this is like it's so good because like you literally can't move. I've never had sleep paralysis, but I'm sure that I, I know some people that do, and I'm sure that based on what they've described to me for them to play this game would probably be a fucking nightmare. I mean, it's scary for me and I've never even experienced this in real life. Hello? Oh, shit. Okay, there she is. Holy fuck. Hey, who are you? Hey, you better get out of here. Hey, answer me. What the? She can't hear you, remember? This is all in your head. Oh, good. Oh. She's gone. That was a close one. Hopefully she doesn't get any closer to the bed.
Okay, so I, I heard footsteps, but I didn't see any movement. <laughs> oh, shit! Is she singing to me? She just crawled, like, away from the bed. I know at some point she shows up, like, right next to us. But I think that singing is new. Try to move your body. I like to move it, move it. Spamming. Move your goddamn legs. Holy shit, dude. I, I, I can't move. The, uh, the progress bar is depleting faster than I can spam. Come on. Double time. Come on. Oh, so close, dude. Yes. We win. Ending one. You actually moved. It's not working. Still can't move. Oh. Yes. I hope that nothing happens over here because I can't see shit. I can see that though. Oh yeah, I can definitely see that. <laughs> you want to You want to cuddle? I'll let you be the big spoon. Shit. Oh god. <laughs> I don't I don't want to do it, man. I don't want to do it. I I know what I have to do, but I don't want to do it. We have to though, all right? We have to. All right, so let, let's let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> ah, fuck you! What was that? I know it's just a dream, but it feels so real. I was actually expecting it sooner. I didn't. I didn't realize we had to look all the way up. Oh my god. <laughs> Three days later. All right, so that's where the demo ends. So everything from here on out is into the unknown. What is sleep paralysis? Sleep paralysis, huh? God, that really terrifies me. I'm hungry, I should eat before going to sleep. Fuck, dude. The mouse sensitivity reset. Oh, dude, come on. Come on. Please, come on. Get back up there. Get the fuck back up there. I wonder if every chapter we have to readjust the mouse sensitivity. I still hate that I can't back up. I, I hope they make some fixes for the the full version. This is the full version, but this is the itch.io full version. I'm hoping that they polish it up just a little bit more when uh, when the Steam version drops. Is there someone outside? No, it's like fog on the window. I thought maybe there was like a face. Okay. Uh, what do you say? He's hungry. No fucking way, dude. Did you see that? Unless it was the lighting of the game, it looked like there was somebody out in the living room. But it, it, they moved so quick, I barely caught it. And I think I hear breathing or, or something. I don't, I don't know what that is. I definitely hear a noise. All right, he said he's hungry. Can we open the fridge? Yes. Oh, dude, look at all that meat. You guys want some late night burgers? What's this? I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm eating it. I don't know what the hell that is. It almost looks like a teddy bear laying there. All right. What do we got? Some uh, piece of bread. Looks like mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes. I should consider buying a microwave. This food is as cold as ice. Dude, you have an oven. You know, it's not as fast as a microwave, but at least you get to heat it up. Double time. Come on. <laughs> Jeez. I, I need to uh, remap the E button to my mouse wheel so I can just like scroll it quick. All right, there we go. Man, it's, it's a two hand job. That's what she said. <laughs>
He said he's full. Did he say go to sleep? Maybe we're going back to bed. Is that what he said? I didn't I didn't catch it. I can't sleep with the lights on. Son of a bitch, dude. Is that enough? Or do I have to turn off all the lights? Son of a bitch. I just I it really hit me that I don't know what's about to happen. So I mean there could be this thing standing behind us at any given time. That experience still terrifies me, and I don't want to go through it again. Well, no, no one does. Okay, left mouse button two times to sleep. All right, doop, doop. Out of body experience, chapter two. All right. Oh God, dude. Okay, still nothing on this side. Fuck, not again. I'm experiencing that thing again. Hold on. This is terrifying as hell. I need to wake up. All right, no, nothing above me. Get that out of the way first. Okay, E to try and move your body. It doesn't even matter if I, because I can do this, I think. And successfully fill it up. It doesn't even matter because he still can't move at the end. It's not working again. I still can't move. God, it's so dark over there. All right, well, no sign of the demon. I keep checking up above me. Nothing. Was that Kill Bill? Where uh, Uma Thurman was like, move your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. That's, that's how I feel right now. She was like paralyzed trying to get her body to move. Wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. Dude, what's going on, man? Look, if, if you're gonna fucking kill me, then fucking do it. I heard it. I, I don't know where it is. Okay, the, the TV's on. All right, so she's just watching TV. No big deal. She's not here to kill us. I wonder what she's watching. Trying to sleep here, turn it down. Yeah. Hey, can you turn that down? Some of us are trying to sleep, please. Thank you. Shit. The anticipation is is what makes it that much worse. Especially in that first jump scare because it doesn't tell you what to do. It just leaves you in the room with the lights on and you're just laying there like, all right, eventually you look up and it doesn't tell you to look up. This is goddamn terrifying. So like being helpless with a lack of direction just builds that tension. Oh, fuck. She's in here. Somewhere. She's on this side, but dude, it's pitch black. I can't see anything. Can you turn the lights on? Nothing. Anything? She's right there. You, you guys see it? She's like right above my head. Over in the corner. Yeah, she's looking right the fuck at me. Oh, I see you. I see you, dirty bitch. Come on! Whatever you're gonna do, fucking do it. Oh my. It's standing right in front of me. <laughs> Not the reaction I would have. Oh my. You like what you see, huh? Ooh. I thought maybe she'd be in the closet. Maybe she, maybe she is. Son of a bitch, dude. I, I'm I'm hoping that there's nothing on the other side of me because it's so dark. But I'm also afraid to look that way. Because, like, even in that corner. There she is. There she is. Even in that corner, I, you can't see the corner, but you can still see her face. So, just because we can't see anything over here 
doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to see your face. I want to wake up already. I'm so terrified now. Please stop. Well, I hate to tell you, dude, but uh, you're already awake. This is really happening. Okay. Oh, there she is again. She's getting closer, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? She's on the ceiling? Is she eating an apple? Where'd she get an apple? Try to move your body. Hold on. Okay. All right. Dude, I cannot do it with one hand. I have to use two hands to, to fill it up. Well, even still. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Dude, I, I got a fucking cramp. Come on. Oh, there we go. Did we wake up? Uh, Dude, I think we're levitating. What's happening? My body feels so light and floating. I thought it said light and fluffy at first. Wait, how am I? Is that me sleeping? Oh shit, we can look down? Oh, it is an outer body experience. Oh, we can actually move. All right, I'll be back. Let's go see what this bitch wants. I love how we have, uh, like you can still hear our footsteps, even though we're, we're having an outer body experience, but we're still making noise as we walk. Yes. My soul is wearing boots. Okay. It stopped. Is she in there? Oh, God damn it, dude. Everything's a diversion. Like, clearly they, they want us to check this out. And she's probably standing right behind me. You know, like, oh, yeah, yeah, slamming door. Go check it out. She's not in there. But I guarantee you, as soon as I fucking turn around, she's going to be right there. I'll play your little game. I'm not going to turn around. I'm not, I'm not going to turn around. What, what do you do now? We're at a standstill. Your move. Your move, bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Okay. I don't know where she went. I, th I thought that was like a head right there. It's a, it's a lamp. I, j I just saw something as I was turning around. I don't know where she went. Can I turn on the light? No. Can't turn on the light. Go back to bed! <gasps> I can't even, I can't walk backwards, so I can't even, like, turn around and see what's going on. I see her. Oh, we are walking backwards, but very slowly. Okay, 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 okay. I was trying to face my fears. Eat to wake up! Come on! Oh, shit! I thought she killed us. Dude, so close. There we go. God, what the hell? That was so terrifying. Oh my god. <laughs> it sounds like our character's like literally crying. Two weeks later. You spilled your drink? That didn't get me that that much. I, I definitely jumped, but it wasn't uh it wasn't your average swole jump scare moment. Yawn. Finally, I finished my work. Wait, it's nighttime already? 
I lost track of time. Wait, two weeks have gone by? Should I sleep now? No, wait, I forgot. I need to submit this report to the office tonight. I should go now so I can get home early. Ooh, we get to leave the house. My guess is no. I'm, I'm guessing, yeah. Oh, no, no, hold on. Uh, pick up your bag and report before going to work. Okay. Over here. Uh, maybe we do get to go to the office. And report? Oh, oh, off the coffee table. Okay. Well, I gotta go to work. You hold down the fort, sleep paralysis demon. I'll be back. Dude, nice touch. I, I always like when horror games change the setting on you. The office is so quiet at this hour. The night shift really helps me unwind from the stress, from the stressful work. Ooh, EDU's PC, shift to exit. Dude, I'm not even in my office yet. Look at this, guys. Look at this amazing artwork. It's like a giant hair. Hey, be careful. I paid big money for that. I paid $3 million for this piece of art. It's beautiful. <laughs> AI could never... Dude, that's the one thing with AI being on the rise and we're seeing a lot of art created by AI. The one thing I love about stuff like this is it can't be imitated. Like, this is authentic human art, okay? A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into creating this. And uh, that's just something that AI could never take away from us. I like this. This is really good. Really good. <laughs> AI could never. It, it's a very nice office. I was going to say that, uh, you know, I like when horror games change the setting on you, especially when you don't expect it. Like, I just thought we were going to be in that house the whole time because it's literally about a sleep paralysis demon. Like, what else is there to do other than go to sleep and be jump scared? But here we are. <laughs> we had to go to work. Where is our office? I don't know which one is ours. I'm guessing in here. No. Nope. This one's too hard. No, nope. <laughs> this one's too soft. Wait a second. Wait, wait. Okay, that one's also <laughs> not ours. I was hoping it would be like a, you know, like a Goldilocks situation. Maybe this is ours over here. Ah, damn it. This one's just right. Okay, any key to log in? Security's tight around here. What would you like me to do? Dear Diary, this is the first time I've experienced something so terrifying and I'm still shaken by it. I don't know what it is called, but whatever it is, whatever it was, I never want to go through it again. The memory of that creepy woman screaming in my face is burned into my mind and it still sends chills down my spine every time I think about it. Her face pale, twisted, and filled with rage haunts me every night. I can't seem to escape it, no matter how hard I try. Every time I close my eyes, I see her, and the fear grips me all over again. I just hope that whatever it was, it never happens again to me. I don't think I can handle another night like that. Well, you did, okay? Because this was he wrote this after the first experience, and we've already had at least two since then. You're fine, dude. You're being a little dramatic. For the second time, I've encountered that terrifying sleeping demon, and now I finally know what it's called. It's a sleep paralysis. It's sleep paralysis, a condition where your mind is caught between being awake and asleep. I still don't fully understand how to explain it, but everything I saw that evening felt so real as if it were truly happening to me. The fear was palpable. Palpable. Pal 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 and it left me paralyzed, unable to escape the horrors unfolding before my eyes. It's hard to shake the feeling that it was all real, that those demons were actually there, lurking in the shadows of my mind. I know I need to find a way to stop this from happening, but I don't know where to start. Oh Lord, I'm so desperate for it to end. I'm terrified to even close my eyes now, fearing that the moment I do, I'll be dragged back into that nightmarish world. I just want to sleep peacefully again without the dread of what awaits me in the dark. Dear Diary, the past two weeks 
was nothing but a nightmare. Every time I closed my eyes, I met with the paralyzing fear that the demons in my sleep paralysis will return. It's as if they're watching for the darkness to engulf me, their twisted forms lurking just beyond the veil of sleep. I've tried to avoid it, staying up as late as possible, but the exhaustion is catching up with me. My body feels drained like I'm running on fumes, and yet the fear of what awaits me in the dark keeps me from getting the rest I desperately need. I'm terrified of the night now. The moment the sun sets, a knot of anxiety twists in my stomach, knowing that sleep will bring me those horrible visions. It's affecting my health in ways I didn't anticipate. I'm constantly fatigued, my head aches, and there's this deep sense of dread that follows me throughout the day. I don't know how much longer I can go, go on like this, living in fear of something that only exists in the shadows of my mind, yet feels so painfully real. Uh, you can use the built-in virtual assistant by talking to the mic. Keywords. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey. Oh. What? Hi, Corey. Oh, is it that? I, I was joking. Sup, Corey. Play music. Yep, we're getting hit with a copyright strike. Uh, hey, Corey, stop music. Stop music. Whew. Don't worry, guys. We can still monetize the video. We're good. Hey, Corey, open uh, photo gallery. Ahem. <clears throat> hey, Corey. Open photo gallery. Uh-huh. Right? Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good girl. Okay. That's nice. So wh what are we doing? <laughs> no boobs. Darn. <laughs> hey, Corey. Can you pull up a swole stream, please? Hey, Corey. Could you load up Celery Man, please? Computer, load up Celery Man, please. Yes, Paul. I, I can't even open the internet. Oh, there we go. Oh, no internet. Uh, free for all. Oh, connect. All right, we're online. Left behind. Are these other games? <gasps> yeah, I think these are. The, we played Thou Shall Not Kill. I don't think we played Stranded. And I didn't play Left Behind. Same studio. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, here we go. Got some emails. Check those. Oh my god, dude. Come on. Come on. Submit the report. Okay. Um, is there a button for that? Where do you submit the report? I, I guess email, right? All right. I guess I'll read this since we're here. Okay. Dear Mr. Kenneth, I hope this email finds you well. We are thrilled to inform you that after reviewing your application and portfolio, we would like to offer you a position as a freelancer with Freelance Movement. Your skills and experience are an excellent fit for our team, and we are excited to potentially have you on board. To move forward with the interview process, we need to ensure a few formalities are completed. Uh, reg resignation letter as per our company's policy. All potential freelancers are required to resign from their current employment before officially joining freelance movement. Please submit your resignation letter to your current employer at your earliest convenience. This step ensures that there are no conflicts of interest and that you can fully dedicate your time and talent to our projects. Require documentation. We also need the following documents to proceed with your application. A scanned copy of your resignation letter, a copy of your government issued ID or passport, your most recent CV or resume, portfolio or work samples if not already submitted. Please send these documents to us within the next five business days so we can schedule your interview and finalize your onboarding process. We understand that transitioning to a new opportunity is a significant step and we are here to support you throughout the process. Should you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to reach out to our HR department or directly to your recruitment coordinator. 
We look forward to your prompt response and are eager to welcome you to the Freelance Movement family. Best regards, Sarah H., HR Department, Freelance Movement. Okay, and your boss. Good day, Kenneth. Once you receive this email, please review the website our web developer has created. It's already been published online, so kindly check the web page is functioning properly. Here is the domain. Okay. Nextgensolutions.com. All right. And then can I send this or we already send it? This is us. Okay. So this is our application to the freelance movement. I'm not a big fan of reading notes. I'll read this though. Cause now I'm curious. Dear hiring manager. I hope this message finds you well. My name is Kenneth and I'm writing to express my interest in joining freelance movement as a freelancer. With, the, with a background in game design, game development, graphic designs, and web design, 3D and 2D animations, etc., I'm eager to contribute my skills to your agency and collaborate on projects with clients who value quality and professionalism. Over the past five years, I have honed my experiences in graphic design and web design, working with my current company and successfully delivering projects that meet and exceed expectations. I'm particularly drawn to freelance movement due to your reputation for connecting talented freelancers with exciting opportunities. I'm confident that my skills coupled with my dedication to client satisfaction would make me a valuable asset to your agency. Uh, I'm enthusiastic about the possibility of working with freelance movement and contributing to your team's success. I am flexible with my availability to and open to discussing any potential opportunities that align with my skill set. Thank you for considering my application. I, work, I look forward to the possibility of collaborating with Freelance Movement and helping your clients achieve their goals. Please feel free to contact me or replying to this email to further discuss. Best regards, and Kenneth. All right. Now, what was that website? NextGenSolutions.com. Take a look. Connect to people around the world. Want to try the downloadable items? Well, just hit the button. Okay. Ooh, a secret note. You've made significant contributions to the company and I don't want to see you go. So let's make a deal. I'll promote you and increase your salary. Just don't leave, okay? We're all rooting for you. Anyway, make sure you drop the report on the meeting room table. After, you, after that, you can go home. You know, we're all family here at this company. Thanks for staying. <laughs> Please don't go. So we have to, well, step one. Turn that back up. Because every time I do anything, I have to readjust my mouse sensitivity. Okay, we got to set the reports on the table. Still deciding whether to resign or not. This job is so stressful. Wait, wait what's over here? Okay, just another office. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, that's it for tonight. Time to head home and sleep. My favorite part of the day. You don't think she followed me to work, do you? I don't think so. We are family. You never said anything about us being a family until I threatened to quit. Oh, now all of a sudden we're a family. You wanted nothing to fucking do with me. If we were a family, I would have never applied for that other job. But now all of a sudden, you don't know what you got till it's gone. Now you want me to stay. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you and fuck this place. I have a new family. A family that loves me. A family that'll take care of me. This place is really nice. Maybe I shouldn't quit. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was waiting for the screen to fade to black. I forgot I have to click the mouse button. 15 times. Oh, God. Yoink. Look. When you play enough indie horror games, you just go with the flow. You know, I think... If we weren't uh, regulars to the genre, I'd be a little bit more annoyed, but it's just part of the experience. It's not a bug. It's a feature. Having to open up the settings every single time the scene changes. 
to increase the mouse speed is just part of the game. Oh, oh, see? See, now I can actually turn around quickly. Good. Good, good. I do wish we could back up, though. I wish we had the ability to walk backwards. Is that is that too much to ask? Am I am I being selfish by asking uh, for the ability to walk backwards? All right, time to go to bed. Uh, I should get some clothes and head to the shower before sleep. Dude, it's awfully dark in here. It's like the darkest I've seen the room. Get some clothes. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. All right, time to take a bath. Oh, dude, is she going to rise up out of the water? We're gonna we're gonna fall asleep in the bathtub. Do we have a bathtub? The bathroom's pretty small. I don't remember seeing a bathtub. Maybe like a shower. What the fuck was that? Dude, I, I heard a door. But there's only two doors. There's the bedroom door and this door. And the front door. Oh, we do have a bathtub. Oh, yeah, yeah. Space to take a bath. All right. Yeah, I decided to take a bath and I got really sleepy. Dozed off. Ah, oh, it feels so good. So warm and relaxing. Wait. <laughs> Oh, guys, it's so warm and relaxing in this empty bathtub. Not only is the electric bill pretty high, but the water bill is even higher. And uh, I can't afford to uh, fill up my bathtub. So, see, I was expecting us to be in an actual bath with like, you know, the water. You can't see into the water. And then like she rises up out of the, well, who knows? She rises up out of the bathtub. Chapter three, who are you? I wonder if we missed something. I was so concerned about the lack of bath water. Maybe there's something in the background that we missed. <sighs> no, okay. So I just realized that, see how the, uh, the there's like distortion on the outside of the, the screen. Fuck, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I don't know anybody that would. I have a confession to make. I, I don't like sleep paralysis demons. I know it's, it's very controversial for me to say, but I do not like. He didn't say we can't move. Oh. Oh, you're home, honey. No, no, no. Stop, please. It keeps fucking with me. You see that? Eh? I'm going to show a little knee. Ooh, you like that? Yeah, a little tease. Sorry, guys. This uh, this stream is rated M for mature. Eh? Showing a little skin. Yeah? yeah? You like that? Oh, terms of service? Oh, yeah, you're right. Let me put my pants back on. No! Oh! Okay, okay. Not to take away from the moment, but the one thing, and I, I hope that things change over time, but the one thing that always gets me is how ultra realistic these homes look, or even like the forest settings in some other horror games, like the forest, not the forest, the game, but like a forest in a horror game, this house, very clean, very modern. And then you see the NPCs and it doesn't match. 
I'm hoping that one day the NPCs look just as realistic as the uh, as the setting that we're in. One day. One day I dream a dream. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is she in? Huh! Fuck. Is she above us again? No. Nothing over there. I'm very limited on my range of motion. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, there she is. Fucking pervert. Staring at me, taking a bath. Oh, God. There she is again. Please stop. Leave me alone. Stop undressing me with your eyes. She's like, damn it. Who wears swimming trunks in the bathtub? I was hoping to see something next time. Next time, Kenneth. I'll get you. I'll get you, you board short wearing piece of shit. Yeah. You and your board shorts. Oh, oh, wait. Did you take them off? Oh, no, they're back. Okay. Yeah, where's our rubber ducky? Rubber ducky. You're the one. I, I don't... I'm just, I'm just waiting to have a heart attack at this point. She's got to be in here, right? Like, nothing's happening. She Is she above us again? <laughs> no. No. Ah! Nah, nothing. She's in the water? Nah. Not in the water. She's definitely taking her time, whatever she's doing. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. Jesus. Oh, wake up? Wait, if I go slow, I can do it with one hand. I think. No, I'm stuck. I gotta go two hands. It's the only way. Come on. Come on, Kenneth! Wake the fuck up! Wake the fuck up! I can't wake up. It's so hard to breathe. I love the sound of water, even though there is no There is no water. Don't. Stop. Don't come near me, please. <laughs> She's like, do you want me to give you a sponge bath? Press A for deluxe bath. Yeah, can we, can we get the, uh... Oh, shit. Stop! What are you doing? I can't breathe. I I can't breathe. The end. Okay. Eh. No. Ah. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed the ex this experience. The demo, I think, look, I appreciate the full version, but I think the demo by itself is a much better horror experience than the full version of the game. But I mean, again, not bad. The scariest part of the game is the demo. And then after that, it was, I think they should have worked on escalating the situations a little bit more and more each time to make it even more scary but it actually got less and less and that final thing with her standing there like in the in the light just kind of twitching and shaking it, it didn't create the same well there wasn't even like a scare you know we're just sitting there watching her convulse as we drowned in a waterless bathtub the tension and the buildup of that first night is just it's not comparable like there's nothing else in the game that even comes close put too much work on the dude i think we spent more time playing around on that pc in the office than the, the entire game by itself maybe have something happen at the office 
You know, you're you're already tired. He talked about being tired, but he had to go into the office. Should I sleep now? No, let me go into the office. He's already tired. He could have fallen asleep at the computer at work. Boom, another scenario in a different setting. So the sleep paralysis demon shows up at his work. That creates a moment. Yeah, yeah. Like because other than that, this the whole office thing really had no it had it had no point. It didn't help move the story at all. Well, I will say this. It's not a total loss. I recommend playing the demo. Like, play the demo, put that put that in your horror catalog, and then just be good with that. I, I don't, I hate to not recommend like the full version, you know, because obviously time and effort went into this, but from a horror gaming standpoint, I recommend playing the demo. You get the experience that you need, the experience that you want, the experience that you're looking for out of the demo, no need to play the full version. Maybe we missed something. I don't think we did. You could have fallen asleep on the couch and had some moments like that's what it should have been like pass out on the couch and like you, you see her like her hand like draped over the couch, you know, in the light, like the television is the only light you have. And then like you see her hand kind of like creep around like, you know, like just little fucking teases. The guy could have basically like narcolepsy. So all these different places he ends up, he falls asleep and then has to deal with the, the, the paralysis demon. Until eventually it gets him, which someone said, change the order of the scares, have the demo be at the end of the game, because that would have been fine. Like where we look up in the in the demo and then we get that fucking crazy ass jump scare. That could have been the final moment of the game. Like if you're going to take the route where the woman or the demon kills you, that's that should have been the death right there. Like you look up, you think you're oh, OK. It was just a dream. Lights are on. Everything's OK. You look up. Boom. That's the end of the game. I was giving all the bugs and glitches a free pass because of how good the demo was. But now that I played the full game, I'm, I'm in hindsight, I'm really fucking annoyed at the mouse sensitivity and the door issue. <laughs>